audience got a wonderful question. I wanted to go ahead and create some content so everybody could see a great feature that you can do on your new line. So the question was, we know we can go into split screen and it goes side by side. Is there any way to go into split screen and go top and bottom? So this is gonna be really great for folks that may have their panels mounted a little bit higher, or if you're in a classroom that may have folks that are a little bit shorter or you're working with the little guys that just don't have the reach to get all the way up. So excellent question. And absolutely you can because with New Line you have options. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into split screen here on the home screen. So I can do my two finger swipe up from the bottom. Or of course you do have the option on the right side of your Q series panel, uh, the three pancake menu, go ahead and hit the short stack and you will get the quick settings menu. In here, I'm gonna go into split screen because that's the function that we want to modify and work with. And of course, as you scroll around, you're gonna be able to find the different applications that will allow you to split them and vector nicely on the panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the internet. And then the other one that I'm gonna grab, because uh, this was the question specifically, I uh, was also working with the whiteboard. So I've got to scroll all the way over, uh, but there is my whiteboard. So now you can see I am in split screen side by side, not a problem. You have functions at the bottom of your split screen kind of views and cells here. The one that we're going to want to work with is the one that looks like an upside down pyramid. I'm going to go ahead and split that. You can see how it kind of brings it down a little bit. I'm going to do that to both. So what I need to do is select, you can see I was active in that one, now I'm active in this one, it's kind of highlighted in light blue. I'm going to hit the same option. Now what I need to do is rearrange them. In order to modify these, I'm just going to pull down to wherever I want my window to go. So that was my active window. Now I have to tap this window, um, and now this is my active window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start lengthening it out. So I pull kind of from whatever side I want to manipulate. I can also make this a little bit deeper. And now I'm going to click into my bottom window because I want to spread that out as well. So I'm just going to pull from side to side and work my way across. There we go. And now I've taken up all of the real estate. I am in split screen mode. But instead of being side by side, I am top and bottom. Uh, I can independently and actively work in either of these windows and life is fantastic. So all of the functions uh, that you would know and, and love and, and choose to use, you're gonna be in really great shape. Also like to point out, uh, just thinking about uh, grabbing different windows and working with different things. If I wanted to go through and change the background, I can still do this. I have to make it just a little bit taller so I can see my options. Uh, but really great kind of idea or option in here is maybe I want to go ahead and I want to have a background pattern. Uh, so I'm working with the little guys. I want to go ahead and add some primary paper. And then maybe if I'm going to go to a website that has, you know, different letters or something like that, now they can work and I have my content up here. So excellent question. Thank you so much for throwing it out there. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Keep them coming. We definitely want to make content that's going to help you get the most out of your new lives. And we will talk again soon. Take care.